someone's in our bed this morning. Yeah. And someone got the hiccups too. Someone got the hiccups. Have you seen the Milwaukee handsaw? Dude, it's 120 bucks. I want one. But... Hey. Oh, you mean a bar? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my people. Okay, just cleaned up our room. So next time we should be able to put her plaque and play right here and our suitcase over here or do something to put our clothes in and we have all this room for extra stuff so we need to take these home and clean them or something so I'm gonna clean the rest of the camp and hopefully we'll head out Sandwiches to go. Josh even has a sweet tea in here. I got a water with my propel. And Missy girl. Let me see if I can get her. She is back here just chilling. She was screaming. But I think it's because she's tired. So I tried keeping her up so she'll sleep on the ride home. So right now she's just playing around until we get moving and stuff. That's when she'll go to sleep. And yeah, I'm gonna be crocheting. Josh is gonna be playing music. I wish I could be playing my phone, but I didn't charge it. So Josh was putting up the AC unit at the camp. I don't know if you could see that window, but they already put it up. So I'm just waiting in here. The men normally turn off the water, turn off the AC and shut down the camp because we have to do that every time we come here and leave here because nobody lives here or anything. Like this is strictly just for hunting and for working on the deer lease and we do all the maintenance and everything on our deer lease pretty much because you know they're the family or they're family of the family that owns it. Like Josh's uncle owns it and we just come in here whenever we want or whenever we can because we're the members here and we just fix it up for deer season. That way we don't have to do everything in the freezing cold. We can do everything when it's like summery and hot, nothing gets ruined. Um, even though it kind of sucks that it's like so hot and we do some stuff. But that's why we do everything extra early and Josh's aunt and my mom's driving up. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to say bye to them. So. Woke back up. Yep, she woke back up. Hey, sweetie. if the roots grew out yet but they're still kind of like dark at the bottom so I don't know if that's a good sign or not but these leaves are yellow 
and they said that that's also a good sign I believe because it um, shows that the cycle is up oh, I meant to wipe those off I had to disinfect these because just in case this was infected but we're gonna oh yeah that is super moist I don't need to water this plant for a while that's my one problem is I think I keep over watering this plant and I think that's why the leaves are turning yellow but that's what's going on right here yeah I think I'm over watering them so we just need to chill out on watering these plants because this plant doesn't really get a lot of sun This one, I feel like it's thriving compared to the rest of it. But you are able to, you know, take your plants out and put them back in. It won't really bother them much as long as you don't do it every single day. But I was just getting really eager to see if the roots are growing. And they're growing roots out the side of them. So I'm guessing that's okay and that's good. I just can't wait for these little plants to grow and thrive on their own. See, this one's about to come off. Let's see how this one's doing. Yeah, this one looks like it's doing good. It's just this little plant, this little leaf needs to come off. See if this helps and I think I just need to stop watering them so much because this does get very moist and stay moist very easily so I think this plant is good I just need to leave it alone for the next week There's water sitting at the bottom. That's what I like about these little things that keeps the water, because I can see if it had enough water or not. Or if I watered it way too much, I need to stop watering it and let it do its thing. So I'm gonna leave that one alone, but it already looks perfect and green again. It had a few yellow on it, but this one right here, I think it's growing. I just really need to leave it alone because I just, I want it to grow so bad and you can over love your plants and we don't need to do that. But I want to show you this one out here. This one, I just took off a lot of yellow leaves, but this one gets the hottest and gets the most sun because it's right here by the window and it's um, not blocked by all the trees. So this window gets a lot of direct sunlight, as you can see on the floor. The one in the kitchen, it gets a lot of sunlight. Well, I don't think it gets that much sunlight because you have this huge tree out here that pretty much blocks it 24 seven. But these plants are good for indirect sunlight. Like as long as there's some kind of light coming through the window, it should be fine from what I hear. But I'm gonna leave it here, and if it keeps dying, I'm going to move it into that other room eventually. But I was trying to, you know, propagate my other, the one that's in this room. I was trying to get that one to grow in here and just have a bunch of greenery in the house because, you know, there's so much wood and stuff. And I just wanna add some greenery to my house. But I am unpacking now, so I just had to take a really good shower. Wesson got a bath with me. Like I took a shower and then gave him a bath since I was, you know, already in there and I didn't want to bathe him and be stinky. And Kimber's gonna get bath later. Josh is gonna bathe her later. But I wanted to take a bath before I started cleaning the house because I don't know why. I just felt dirty and I feel like I can't get the house dirty if I feel dirty. Because if I feel dirty, I feel like I'm just going to trail dirt as I'm cleaning. If that makes any sense. So, 
Now we're gonna clean the house. I don't know, or not really clean out, clean the house, I'm unpacking. But that's also pretty much cleaning the house too because the house is a mess if I don't unpack it. So let's get to it. Are you bouncing now? Kimba girl, you sweet big sister. Hey Kimba girl, you sweet big sister. Yeah. Never mind, I left it at work. Uh. I got a little fake horn hat, center point horn hat. Oh. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hang on, let's do this thing. Kimber. Kimber. That's too cute. Oh, I wish I could take pictures. Yeah, we're gonna go for a walk. She's like, ooh, I can join this. <laughs> and I think this should be able to, like when she gets older, it should lean up or sit up more. Hey, what are you doing? Just being silly. Let me see that. I don't know, I think you're tightening the straps. Uh, well, no, I mean, that's kind of what I'm looking at, but uh, there's nothing to tighten, you know, hook them to. I don't know what. But that is the one that, yeah, what you have now is what pulls it tighter. Well, not. This is. Okay. No, that pulls the straps. Oh, you're talking about are up. Yeah. You're all pretty. Yeah. You good? She's like, whoa, this is new. She said, come on, let's go for a ride. <laughs> you got so much so hog much hair. hair. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have like huskies. Isn't that what we originally wanted? <laughs> no. I never wanted a husky. I think it's cruel to have a husky down here. Yeah. You ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so on our walk, we found the best thing on the side of the road. <laughs> we asked the person if it was broken or anything. They said, just take it. The only thing, it just needs to be cleaned out. It has ants all over it, so I have to clean it because it probably has food all in it. But if you're a parent, you know these are something you have to get. And it's this, a little wagon that I can pull Ellie and maybe a future second baby or third baby in. So, yes, and it has cup holders, things to put toys in, and then padding on the inside. So, it's perfect. And she said, nothing's wrong with it. It's just, you know, dirty, and I'm pretty sure they're not using it. So, that's perfect. So if we ever, you know, go to a farmer's market, go to the beach, or go to the boardwalk or something and just have a really long, you know, place to walk, that is perfect to put kids in and to just, you know, pull them around. So I'm excited we found that. Now I'm gonna tell Josh's sister that we have one. But anyways, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna get all my stuff, finish my sewing, not sewing projects, knitting projects, and then I'll show those to y'all another someday or something. I don't know. I'm going to bed. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video and good night.